Hello, good afternoon. This is David Soto talking to you. And today, I want to introduce you to my new signal service for 2021. Okay, now this is going to be a new revised strategy that I'm going to be using for my existing signal service that I've had for the last several years. Okay, and now over the years, I've have I've constantly have evolved and changed my strategies, updated my strategies to improve the quality of my signals. Right, so. In the beginning, I had a all my signals were based on a 30-minute time frame, right? So I had many, many signals every single day. But the problem is, like on 30-minute chart, this indicator will repaint a lot, so you don't always get the best entry point, all right, for my signals. Then I switched uh, about two years ago, or so I switched to using a one-hour chart, okay, and that was okay because it had, I had fewer signals but higher quality okay so it seemed to be a perfect balance okay between quality and amount quantity but still it was the signals were not that accurate okay they were so so okay but i wanted to give even more accurate signals i'm going to get the best signals possible so then last year i switched to using a four hour chart for all my signals okay which is excellent also you get you know you get a high quality uh entry points and all my signals that there are uh swing trades okay they're based on long-term trades and i would give a stop loss strike rate which is for your your pin and order either buy stop or sell stop and also i gave three different take profits right that you could choose from but e even though they were uh high quality the problem is the quantity the quantity is the problem I was only only able to deliver about five, maybe six at the most signals per week, sometimes less. So, and like I've noticed, like now we're going into 2021, and the market has been slow, so I've not been able to post many signals, and I feel bad about that. So I want to try to revise my strategy a bit. So now, uh, instead of using a Fibonacci to determine my strike rate and all that. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to do my own analysis, okay? And this strategy I'm using is the same strategy I'm using for my trade copy service as well, okay? So, and I've been, I keep monitoring these charts and trying to pinpoint the best entry points. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you right here on the chart. I have a one hour chart here. I'm using GBP USD as an example right here. I got pulled up. We see on the one hour chart, we have a signal to buy. Okay, and it's already shot up today. What I want is the higher time frames, the four hour daily and weekly time frames, to be the opposite. So, meaning they should be showing the sell, which you can see right here. On the four hour, we have a signal to sell. The daily shows to sell. The weekly shows to sell. Okay, so that means long term is going to be dropping okay so we always look at the higher time frames first to determine which way the price is going long term then we look at the smaller time frames and say okay um look for the opposite so we're going to put a we're probably we're going to be using limit orders okay for this instead of stop orders we're going to be using limit orders so what we'll do here's what we'll do on the, we use a one hour chart here okay and we see here that it has not formed a red arrow yet okay it should is at a very strong level of resistance right now but the fact that it has not formed a red arrow indicates to me that it's probably going to go even higher okay so i'll mark let me mark this right here so you can see this is where you know this is where the red arrow here formed last time so this is a strong level of resistance so the price might possibly it might drop right now but i'm thinking it's going to go up even higher so what i want to do is i'm going to put a limit order a sell limit right here just a little bit a ways above all right and we're going to do it like this okay i'm going to put a sell limit the strike rate right here is going to be 1.37350 okay 
and uh, I'm going to put a stop loss. I'm going to give you a stop loss. I personally, for me, I do not use stop loss in my personal trading, but I know a lot of people want a stop loss. So I'm going to add a stop loss in all my signals. And I'll put this at 1.37800, uh, like that. And take profit, I'll put it at 1.37, oh, 1.36. Seven hundred. Okay. Let's see how that looks. Okay. Now here we see it take profit. I got six hundred fifty pips in profit. Okay. Now with the GBP pairs, you can get a lot more profit with a smaller movement. Okay. Now, not all of these are going to have the same amount of pips, but I'm going to do my best to try and give you the maximum amount of profit. And the thing here is. I, I want these trades to be able to open and close within a day or two. That way you don't have trades open for weeks at a time and current swap fees. That's also kind of the problem with using a four hour chart is when you do swing trades, you have trades open for a long time. It's good and bad, but trades open for a long time will incur a lot of swap fees, which dig into your profits. You still make profit, but we want to try to eliminate any fees if possible okay so and then a stop loss you know like I said it's optional but I'll put a stop loss in there just so for your own comfort your own uh, feel of safety okay I know a lot of people want stop loss so I'll try to put a bigger take profit versus the stop loss so you can have more profit versus the loss okay if that makes any sense and what I'm gonna do is I will post all my signals and using the telegram signal app just like I've always been doing and I'm gonna use I'm gonna pull it up right here and show you an example I was I made one here but went to I will, I will type here like GBP USD and I will put um, sell limit okay and then I'll put SR 1.37350 Okay, right here. And I'm just gonna follow the format which MetaTrader has by default. And for stop loss, I'll put 1.37800, which you see right here. Oops. And take profit, TP, I'll put at 1.36700, like that. So I'm gonna follow this basic format. Okay, so now this is gonna be really, really simple for you to set up. Okay, a lot of people in the past got kind of confused with the different take profits, how to set up the trade. You can see here, these are my current uh, format that I'll be using in my signal group. Okay, I have a stop loss, strike rate, and three different take profits that you can choose from. Okay, so I want to kind of simplify things. So instead of having, you know, four or five signals per week, I'm going to have four or five signals per day. Okay, hopefully more, but this is my I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that right now about maybe about five signals per day okay we're gonna see how this plays out and I will keep trying to modify or adjust to any changes I see and do what I can to improve these signals but this strategy is working very well for my trade copy service and it also work well for my signal service and you see here in my telegram channel okay I have where it says you can leave a comment so I do recommend you for the leave, please leave a comment to let me know how these signals are performing and as also I will leave comments as well and we can have a chat inside the signal group okay we can have a discussion about each signal all right that way I can kind of give you updates on this on the progress of it and you can give me updates on your progress as well okay we can all share ideas so anyhow, so that's basically how my new signal service is going to work. I will give future updates, you know, as I make changes. And I also will post updates in my Facebook group. Okay. So if you have not joined my signal group, or if you're already a member, it doesn't matter. Please contact me on Facebook. Okay. There's a link below in the description of this video for my personal Facebook. Please contact me there first. Okay. Just contact me and 
tell me you want to get added to my signal group or ask me any questions that you have about my if you're an existing member of my signal group all right uh, also if you have not joined my Facebook group please join my Facebook group so that way you can post any questions or comments in my Facebook group okay there's a link in the description for that as well okay so anyhow I really look forward to helping you and you know please let me know if you have any questions and just feel free to reach out to me at any time okay so thank you and have a wonderful day